five keys to YouTube success. Hey, as a professional speaker, I know not everyone is into YouTube, but, and I know some of you will resist this statement, you ought to be. Okay, there, I've said it. The number one way I'm found as a speaker in CSP outside of referrals is my videos on YouTube. And I'll be honest, I really didn't know what I was doing till I decided to take it seriously in 2022 with application for 2023. Okay, let me rephrase that. I was a YouTube novice and still made it work. So let's make this video short and easy. There are five practical parts or links to the proverbial YouTube chain, okay? Know them and you'll have a fundamental starting point for connecting into the power of the YouTube platform. So number one, it's not about the number of videos you create. Some of you will argue with me on that, but rather about first finding your audience. Okay, I was in Columbus, Ohio and ran into, quite by accident, a group of young men who created crazy TikTok videos. They said they needed an old dude to be in one, <laughs> and I met that criteria. What the heck I thought? I mean, it, it wasn't bad content and certainly not my audience, and I, I needed a break. So, a video we created. Now back at the office, I shared my story to my video editors and they thought it was hilarious. Me, an old dude, gray hair, in a TikTok video. Just saying. It was released on a Saturday. Now has over two million hits. Okay, so the moral of the story. These guys create stupid stuff and get lots of followers and hits, but they're broke. That was fun, but your videos need to hit your buying audience. If they don't, the first link of the chain will fail. Number two, look for patterns of videos that work. Huh? Yeah. Being a speaker is work, and if you want to compete today, you need to know what your competition is doing and find what's working. Let's face it, I'm what some describe as male, pale, and stale. I don't like that, but whatever. The challenge is, do I create video that's more my generation, or do I look for what's trending and catch the wave? Now, I have an advantage experience and perspective. So do you. We need to use that, but in ways that are trending so we're not left behind. Number three, use the tools at hand to guide you. Now, there are many, but two that I like are VidIQ and SimRush. Both can cut through the noise and help you find trends that can move you forward more quickly. Okay, now I need to stop here for a second. Some of you think that this is work. It is, but work that pays off. At the risk of being self-serving, there are those of us who can help you navigate the YouTube video waters. We do it here at Primo Productions. Nate Woodbury does it. And there are a few more I'd recommend. The main thing is either make the commitment to do it yourself, as you can, or hire someone to guide you. If you don't, you're missing out. Number four, making the videos. Now, this part's actually easy. Gone are the days when high production value is required. Oh, don't get me wrong, a talking head is kind of boring. So you have to have visual stimulation to help cut through the noise. That said, a decent mic, good lighting, and a computer camera or iPhone can make you competitive if you're talking to the right audience. And number five, the fifth link of the chain, solve a problem. Whatever you have to say, make sure that it's something your audience is hungry for. If it is, they'll watch your video, recommend your video, comment on your video, and when that happens, YouTube will push your video. Paul Jenkins, an NSA speaker in CSP, is a great example. As of this video, he has catched the number 386,000 subscribers. Yeah, shake your head. I mean, and, and he talks about parenting. Okay. But his audience is everyone who has kids, especially if they're problems from time to time. And who has kids that aren't problems from time to time? His audience are parents who want solutions. Paul's a rock star. He knows his audience and feeds them. That's the secret. Oh, and him, Seth, he's a YouTube phenom. He has 66,000 subscribers, less than Paul, but as Owen would say, better to have videos focused on those who are buyers than just lots of subscribers who don't contribute to your business model. So I use these two examples, but here are the closing questions. Who is your market? What problem do you solve? That's a big question, by the way. Are you committed to the work? Or will you hire it done? And last, and this is a tough one, are you in a grow mode, a maintain mode, or a wind down mode? Now, while I can't answer 
any of those questions for you. What I can say is you need to grow in order to maintain. Otherwise, those actively in the grow mode will overtake all the others. And I, for one, don't want to be known as male, pale, and stale. Call me if you want to talk about how we can help you with your channel. I'm Chuck Gallagher at Primo Productions, and we bring imagination to life.